This is an extremely interesting article. How your cells use light to communicate. Your body is woven from the light of heaven, says Rumi. Have you ever wondered what makes the difference between a living and non-living process? What makes us alive instead of just machines or robots acting out commands? What is a life force or what ancient philosophers called the animus? It is light, and this is the fundamental method by which your cells and DNA communicate. After all, a cell contains the same components when it's alive and when it's dead. The same molecules and structures are there, but what gives the cell life? What allows an average human being to become the accumulation of 10 trillion cells communicating in a precise way every second and every to every molecule in our bodies? What's more, every few seconds, more than 10 million cells die, and in order to prevent entropic decay, more cells must be created to sustain our life force. So make no mistake, this is a massive undertaking. A mere machine could never pull it off. This is also why so many drugs fail to heal the body, because they do not work at the level of light, the speed of light more specifically. Chemical messaging to orchestrate this incredible show would be far too slow. Russian scientist Alexander Gurwich a contemporary of Vladimir Vernadsky and Fitz Alfred Popp have all pointed to the need for cells to be able to communicate at the speed of light for our bodies to even function. Dr. Fitz Albert Popp said, we're still on the threshold of fully understanding the complex relationship between light and life, but we can now say emphatically that the function of our entire metabolism is dependent on light. It was Alexander Gerwich who, while working on onion roots in his lab in 1923, discovered that the roots could stimulate a neighboring plant's roots if the two adjacent plants were in quartz glass pots. The same effect did not happen if the pots were contained in silicon. It turned out that the quartz filtered certain UV wavelengths that the silicon did not, and thus allowed uh, communication between the biological plant, the entities. Pop later experiment with UV light to further understand what Gerwich had discovered. Performing 37 different tests on chemicals, some that caused cancer and some that did not. In every instance, the compounds that he found to be carcinogenic took the UV light, absorbed it, and changed or scrambled the frequency. This is what happens to our DNA when we eat poor quality food, are repeatedly subjected to negative emotions, listen to DNA harming music, television, etc., or even endure an onslaught of chemically toxic, to chemical toxicity in our air, water, and soil due to uh, polluting. These elements scramble or confuse the light signals being communicated to our cells. What Pop also found was that these cancer-causing compounds all had one thing in common. Each of the carcinogens reacted only to light at a specific frequency, 380 nanometers, in the ultraviolet range. Pop was curious as to why light could act as a scrambler of information until he discovered that it could also repair cells. Specifically, Pop re, uh, discovered that uh, ultra-weak photon emission, UPE, or biophoton emission, BPE, refers to the phenomenon of constant and spontaneous emission of light from all biological systems, including humans, due to metabolic activities, without excitation or enhancement. This occurs in the visible and UV part of the electromagnetic spectrum at very low intensities in the order of 1016 to 1018 W per uh, square centimeter. The coherent emission of biophotons is connected to energy and information transfer processes in any biological organism and has been linked to the function of DNA and gene uh, re regulations. Now, reprogramming your DNA is about allowing coherent electromagnetic communication to happen within your own body and the living, breathing intelligence of the universe. By choking your cells with pharmaceutical drugs, depression medication, or even highly processed genetically modified food, you are inhib inhibiting speed of light communication between the perfect fractal universe and your body. 
The repair of DNA and therefore your cells is all about allowing coherent light to regulate biorhythms, homeostasis in every single metabolic process in your body. Those 10 trillion cells know what they're doing. Your DNA already understands perfectly how to communicate correctly. All that is needed to take that uh, is to take that which, in, which impedes this communication out of the picture. And uh, now talking about bodies giving out light, light that we can't see. Uh, all right, this is the scientists already found that. For example, if you have someone loving next to you, and uh, or talking lovingly to you that affects your body from when you're e even a child that it changes the DNA of the child to um, increase its, its uh, abilities and capacities so the love the closeness the tenderness all these positive things and all of the, even the light from the body helps our fellow human our relatives our friends in this way as well. Isn't that so? That's beautiful. This is uh, by Healers of the Light Team. It's on Humans Are Free by Alexander Light Creative Commons. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.